Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. I thought for a twist, I would go all the way back to 2008, 15 years ago when I first started shopping with Amazon and pull out the best things, the things that over the last 15 years that I have loved the most that I bought from Amazon. Now I do wanna say because of my age group and the amount of you who watch me who deal with chronic pain, I'm going to show you something from a pain category and then I'm gonna tell you a bunch of other things, okay? But all of that I'm grouping into one, pain management. For all my pain warriors out there, I'm going to tell you the things that I like and have repurchased over the last 15 years, okay, from Amazon in that category. I'm also going to tell you that a lot of these things cannot be brought in here. I would be back in, <laughs> in bad trouble with my back. The first thing is this um, chair massager. All right, I have talked about this before on my channel. I have been through four of these in the last 15 years. And you may be saying to yourself, well, Mary, do we really wanna buy something that breaks? You have to buy it four times. Okay, but the reason is because of how I use it. You're not supposed to use it this way. But I can't go get a massage and pay for a massage every time I want one, right? So what I do with this is I lay it down in my bed and then I lay on it. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to put it in a chair. You're not supposed to be putting your full body weight on it. And I do. So this is my fourth one that I'm showing you right now. So what I do is I lay on this thing and I watch TV, right? But I will push my back into it. Now I'm not condoning anyone do the things I do. Just saying that right off. I mean, if you bust a pedicle off your lumbar, don't come <laughs> blaming me. <laughs> but I push as hard as I possibly can. And with all my body weight pushed down on it, it massages up and down my back and it like makes those muscles let go. So I really love that. The one I have has lasted longer than the last three because this one doesn't stop, right? So the others, you could like push a button and stop it in one place. As you saw on the receipt, this one I've had since 2016. So I think that really makes a big difference that it doesn't stop and rotate around in just one place. That's how I burned them out, I think. <laughs> I think it was because I kept it in one spot. It's probably T12, L1, maybe right there. Oh, there I need it to concentrate right there. And what happens is I will sit there with it on that one spot and burn out that thing. <laughs> Just holding it right there. Dig, dig, dig right there, right? Well, a better solution for that okay, is to let that thing just go up and down and work all of the muscles up and down my back. And then if I need to get in there and really trigger in on one, then I use the Theracane. Okay, so the Theracane is an item I cannot live without. All right, this is the item right here. It's called the Theracane. And I've looked through my Amazon orders, but you know how you do that if you don't call something the right thing. I can't find your order. Uh, so, but this is it. I'm trying to show you as many receipts as possible so that people can't say, I did not buy them at Amazon. <laughs> the Theracane, you can look up on YouTube. Therapists teach you how to use this so that you can do your own trigger point releases. And that's super nice for that. If you've got one area that has a horrid knot and you just, yeah, just take that and pull against it. Hold it for like 30 seconds until it releases. And I'm able to do my own trigger point therapy here at the house using next that. Th the next thing I've showed you a few times on this channel, and that would be my TENS unit. I remember the first time that I ever heard about a TENS unit, you couldn't just buy one. You had to go through like a chiropractor or somebody and talk them into ordering one for you. Uh, but now you can get on Amazon, you can go to Walmart, you can do multiple things. Again, I can't find the actual receipt in there. I don't know if the people you buy it from, if they stop, it goes away or what. But this was the first one that I purchased, the TENS 7000. It comes with the leads. These are extra ones I've purchased. And I like the big long pads, so I'll link all of this stuff that you can purchase for either one of these. But the 7000 is a battery operated one. I would purchase this. It's a nine volt battery um, charger if you're going to get the TENS 7000. It runs on battery. Both of these TENS units that I have have their pros and cons. I like this one because I think that the current on it feels a little stronger, but it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to use this one because when it, the time is up, which is up to 45 minutes, it goes beep, 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 beep. Sorry, my voice isn't all the way back right yet from surgery. Anyway, it goes beep, beep, beep. <laughs> 
I can't go that high yet, but it makes a beeping sound. This is by um, Comfy Tent, and I like working with them. They have quite a few lovely items for your back. This one is USB charge. Goes up to an hour. It's not as strong as the 7000, but plenty strong enough to get the job done. Either one of these has worked well for me many, many times. And I'm currently thinking about trying out Comfy Temp's wireless one. And the reason is for when I go out, because this last time I hurt my back, I was down for the count for a while. And I kept having to go out with a TENS unit on and these leads are like all over the place. I was kind of embarrassed about that. You could see these leads coming off of me and it was summertime. So you can't really hide them under jackets and stuff like that. So I'll probably be checking out that one soon, but a good TENS unit. Hey, enough about pain, right? Let's move on to something that makes me really happy, which is organic organization. It hurts to be like on the ground, right? Trying to go through your pots and pans. I love this thing. And ever since I got this, I've been able to keep my pots and pans organized. So the things I hardly ever use go on a shelf behind it. And then this sits in my cabinet and my pots and pans are lined up on it. So I can just open up the cabinet, reach down and grab the pan that I want. I know exactly before I even open the cabinet where the pot or the pan is that I need. And I just reach in, grab it. You can set those to be any height or whatever you want. All right, let's talk about something that's in here. We have two of these in our house and we're thinking about getting one for the big television in the living room. And if you've ever lost something that meant a lot to you because the power surger didn't work and the deductible on your home could be quite high. So, you know, you may not even be able to turn it in like my television in my bedroom. My deductible is higher than that television cost. I can't remember the year that I bought the first one. It was in 2018, but it's right down there. I call it my backup generator. <laughs> it's not a generator. What it is, is it's a huge battery that lets you plug in all kinds of things. And then you've got things that are important, like the computer. We don't want the computer just bam, being turned off. In particular, if you have a PC and it's running Windows, Windows is really finicky about you pulling the plug. <laughs> doesn't want you to do that. And if you think surge protectors are protecting you fully, you'd be wrong. <laughs> you can still surge on a surge protector. So let's just say I'm sitting here and I'm editing this video and I'm almost done, all right? Which is like two hours worth of work. I'm almost done with this and the power goes out. Or if your power ever surges at your house, which it does here sometimes, I don't know why, but sometimes we'll just be sitting here and the power go out for just a couple seconds or flickers, just enough for your computer to go down. The battery backup though has got it for a solid 15 minutes. That gives you enough time to come in and shut the whole thing down so that no damage occurs. Next, we have the home security system. It is our Eufy cams. And I love these so much that my family has purchased these. My mom has them, my brother has them. I think my sister's getting them now. And it's really nice if you're on a family and you wanna share. I can look at my mom's cameras from here and see what's going on at her house. So like right now, as I'm filming this, my mom is not home. I'm five minutes away. If the mail comes, I can know exactly when it happened and go get it. She gets a large package. I can go over there and I can get it. If somebody is bothering the resident, I know about it. <laughs> and I can either get on the speaker and go, I called the cops, you better run. Or, you know, I mean, it's just nice to be able to know, hey, somebody's at mom's house. Even if she's not away, if she's at home, I always know because I can look at her cameras on my app. I can see my cameras, of course. Beautiful. Now, I will tell you this though. They come with some outrageous claim like, the battery life on it. Like you could go a whole year, 365 days. I don't know what it is, but they say like Eufy cams will do that and you don't have to charge them for like a year. It depends on how you've got them set up. The front cam needs to be charged a lot more than the back cameras do because the back cameras, no one's back there. If that back cam goes off, something's going on. Like that raccoon family that moved in under the barn. If you have it set up on a front door where you're constantly coming in the door, like unloading groceries and going out to check your mailbox. So depending on where it's located, how long you have it recording a video for, all these things determine how long the battery life will last. I have to put here what the date was that I got them, but I will tell you that I've only charged the front cam and it's the one that's the busiest 
three times since I've had them. The thing I love the most about the system is right back here where you can't see because all this clutter back here covers wires and everything else that I don't want you to see. Back there is the hub for the whole system and it has an SD card that is collecting the data. So I don't have to have a cloud service. That's important to me. I do not want to pay a monthly cloud service. All I do is go on my app and click on that home base and it will tell me that, because I cleared it recently, that I have 0.6 of 15 gigabytes of storage. So that's how much I've used. In the last couple of years, I have totally changed my mind on air frying. The first time I tried air fryers, I heard about them from my son-in-law and he wanted one for Christmas. But it was just my son-in-law and my daughter at the time and that air fryer suited them very well. And they also didn't do anything more than like heat up Hot Pockets or French fries or something like that in it. So I got one too to see what the big deal was about. And it was just way too small. There are three of us in this house and two of us eat like pigs. So that little air fryer, it was a pain in the butt to use. I'm like, wow, really? I can't even cook our whole meal in there. It's like, I got to cook yours, then yours. So I sent it back and dismissed air frying. Then while my daddy was alive, he would come over and he would tell me, oh, your mom made this in the air fryer or we had this last night. Look what they, look what she did in the air fryer. And he was constantly telling me about the air fryer. I saw that they made bigger air fryers. And I thought all these people can't be talking about air fryers and have the same experience I did. So I got a five quart air fryer and that made all the difference. I love my Kasari air fryer. I love it so much that the next year, year for Christmas, I asked for another one. So I have two. I realize that that receipt says that I've purchased it three times, but only two of them were for me. They sit across from each other so that they don't trip the power breaker. And I cook in them. Four out of five times I cook something, if not the whole meal, is being made in those two air fryers. This particular air fryer comes with its own cookbook. You can buy accessories for the air fryer. And there are Facebook groups and all kinds of places, even on YouTube, that you can find the best air frying tips, tricks, recipes. Also, also in the kitchen is my ice machine. If you don't produce enough wetness or you just like eating ice, but you don't want to just go in the freezer and get ice and eat it because you could break your teeth. <laughs> so you really need an edible ice and edible ice is more soft. So you can chew on it and it doesn't hurt your teeth as much. I'm sure it probably does over time. So I like eating ice. My mom does too. And if you make the amount of ice that we do in our household and hers, you will go through these probably every other year. I have to buy a new one. The current one has lasted the longest and it's by Frigidaire. I turn it on whenever I need it. Within six or seven minutes, I've got ice coming out. It's nice at the holidays when people come over and your freezer's full of the ice that has to go in the cooler for the drinks. But on the table, you need ice and yeah, just make it in the ice machine and put it in everyone's glass. Relatively new to my Academy of Gadgets that I have in my house that I've bought on Amazon is my steam cleaner. Now this I don't recommend you using on the carpet because it doesn't have a way to suck it back out. If you don't have a way to pull that back out, then you're setting your pad up under your carpet for mildew. So I wouldn't do that, but everything else pretty much. You need to deep clean that washer drum. Get your steam cleaner out. It's got all these gadgets on it. And in no time, you can get all of that crud out of your washer, the mattresses, the furniture, your cabinet, the countertops, the mirrors, the windows. It gets stuff really, really clean. And I love it. My television is a Fire TV and I got it on Amazon. The reason I got the Fire TV and love it so much is because I bought Fire Sticks, which if I had known <laughs> that I could access my Apple stuff, because I had Apple TVs from the time that they came out. I had the very first Apple TV. Actually, I have the first generation iPhone, like the first run. Let me know if you guys do too. You know, I kept that phone because I thought someday that might be something somebody would want to see, right? Well, when the first Apple TV came out, you remember they were huge. <laughs> so I continued to buy Apple TV and I thought, I wouldn't be able to access all of the music and the movies and the TV shows and all of the things that I stupidly purchased. All these years I have paid an exuberant amount of money for Apple TV because I wanted to be able to get the Apple TV stuff and all of the things I've purchased from Apple and little did I know, you can, if you're like me and you think that, you can access all that stuff from a fire stick on your TV. All you gotta do is download the Apple app. The Apple TV app, that's all you gotta do. And it's all there for you. Well, the Fire Stick quickly, rapidly became a part of every TV in here. But then my television in my bedroom went out and I wanted to replace it. 
And I thought, I love the fire stick so much. Let's just get a fire TV. And I did. I've not looked back since. Now, I will recommend this. Buy an extra USB for it. Because what I didn't understand was if you download everything you want on this thing, it all takes up storage space. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that. Same thing with a computer or whatever. If you download all this data and stuff onto it, it will eventually fill up. I would recommend you get additional storage for it if you're like me and you want to download everything. <laughs> Even stuff you don't watch or have subscriptions to, just in case. But I love my Fire TV. And the last thing, and I have saved this for last because I know only the most dedicated one I know about this. I promise you, this is like if you ever had more than one monitor on your computer. I remember before I had two monitors. After that, it wasn't even five minutes. I went, I need four. So just like somebody who realizes after they have a second monitor on their computer, you do not even realize. You think Ew, I'm not going to do that until you do. Because that's what these two men in here did. When we got a bidet, everybody's feelings changed real quick. <laughs> I, and you know, even me. I remember the first one that we had was from a company called Tushy. And it was a like a manual one. It wasn't deluxe like the one we have now. It was cold water. You had to manually turn it on and the pressure and everything. First time I used it, I went, we've just been wiping our butt. <laughs> Before now, I've never thought about it because I grew up here in America and most of America uses toilet paper. If you ever feel the cleanliness of a bidet, then you will not want to use toilet paper anymore, except to pat dry maybe. <laughs> but this bidet I really like because it's not that expensive. I mean, compared to buying an actual bidet toilet, this is not very expensive. Fits on your toilet. I picked this one specifically because the remote is attached. So nobody's gonna run off with the remote like they do the television and you can't find it. <laughs> It's got dry, it's got wash, it's got front wash, it's got warm water. Did I say it's got a dryer? We never use the dryer, but it's there. I mean, I think you'd have to sit there for 10 minutes to get dry. <laughs> but, you know, who's got that kind of time? Not me. Just make sure that if you get it, that you pay attention to the seat. They have them in the round, they have them in the elongated. So make sure you're paying attention to that. It makes a difference to guys. Okay, if you put an elongated one on a round bowl, then there's space between the bowl and, the, and just don't do it, okay? It's not good for your guy. <laughs> Tell me below the year you first started shopping Amazon. You can go into your or purchase history on Amazon and see when that was. What are some of the most favorite things that you've ever bought? Tell me that. I want to know. You know I do. All right, then I hope you guys know you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And then if you're not having a blessed day, the way you get one. Just go be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. I found my favorite hoops. <laughs> Ali boop. 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 Ali you boop. 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 I thought I'd do something different. I'm gonna go back to the beginning Two of my. Rolls. One can with cream cheese frosting. One can blueberry pie filling. Where is this coming from? Sit here while you work. Whistle while you work. Do, 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 do. That sounded like a whistle, didn't it? I can't whistle. Okay, you can buy these to where they stop in the name of pain. Right on the knots, they gain access to them. Access to them. Because I have this one spot right back here. Whoops, hang on. Flying carrots. <laughs> Those are frozen carrots. It feels good on my back. <laughs> it's not good for a computer at all. That was loud. So let's say I'm sitting here on my computer working on this very important video for you guys. A video you guys would just die if you didn't see. A video that I know you get on your knees and say, Lord, please let us be able to watch the Glitzy Fritzy video. <laughs> just enough to let the things know. What do you want? And so I bought him this air. <laughs> Gosh, really, I flipped coffee on my face. <laughs> A little bit of coffee on my face. A little bit of lipstick smeared. <laughs> yeah. Because guess what? Amazon does fire stuff. They go. <laughs> That's fire. My fingers are the flames. Fire! Fire! <laughs> it's getting hot in here because of finger flames. 